<laughs> All right, guys, so as you can tell by the title, this video will include some sneaker shopping with my boy, Kais. And as you guys can probably also tell by the title, uh, I'm going to be showing off some shoes that are a little bit different for me. We'll talk about that later on, but of course, getting right into the pickups. I got two shoes in the mail. The first shoe was sent to me from Puma. It is a collaboration. You guys have seen me rock the Marathon Continue or TMC Puma Suede Classics. I posted those on my story. I love those. The Puma Suede Classic is one of my favorite shoes, but they did do a future rider as well. And being a fan of Nipsey Hustle, you already know your boy needed a pair. So Puma, thank you. I do appreciate you. I got another shoe in the mail and it's kind of important to discuss because I actually took an L on this sneaker when I I first went for it, which is the Air Griffey Max 1. Now, I think a lot of people were surprised when this was actually hard to get on sneakers. And being that my sneakers account is dry as fuck, you already know I took an L as well. Thankfully, I did get it on a restock. I actually saw it on a random restock when I was in Plus One. If you guys do not know, Plus One is my cook group. It is a cook group that I helped create. We offer a lot of services. One of those services being restock monitors. So when a website restocks particular sneakers, whether they be limited or not, there are restock monitors that will notify the members when those shoes restock. Now, if you guys want to join plus one i will leave a link in the description down below it'll be the top link and then right underneath that there will be a link to the plus one social media we have a plethora of services site lists raffle lists brick flips low key flips and fun fact one of our aca providers actually ran limited free slots for this yeezy slide release and over 50 members got yeezy slides for retail 55 freaking dollars which is freaking insane because these things are still reselling for insane amounts of money but do you want release information restock information we got it all plus a plethora of other tools for people who want to join so check out plus one top link in the description but we got to get to the sneaker shopping. Like I said, we got some sneaker shopping to do my boy Kai. On your head like split web, see what that money do. Come around my way, homicide, demolition crew. Clean up man, I'm the janitor. See me sweeping through, tearing blocks down. Yeah, let's get at you. My niggas dug around this way. But I brought up a dick with you, cause niggas really grimy, nigga. Uber? Yes, sir. Uber for Kais? Why yeah. are you vlogging? I just said I'm an Uber vlogger. Uber vlogger. Yeah, okay, subscribe to good. see new Uber vlogs. Hey, how's it going, boss? You know, <laughs> How you doing? Man? Love the doing shirt. It. Love the thank outfit, you, my thank G. You. We do some tourist things today. I don't ever do tourist things in Seattle because I'm from Tacoma. And we're going to go hit some local stores. Sneak City, Mecca, Drip Tea. And of course, right now, we're at the Space Needle. Really get at you, my nigga got a COVID mask. Watch him spit at you. I'm OT with a zip line. Trying to move a brick or two. Mad out of nigga, ay. Let me see some. Is that his whip? I don't know, nigga. Bay blue and a yellow. I need to do the south end hats on these ones. Seven and a half. Oop, seven and five eighths. Yes, sir. Can I grab that one? Low key, you need to make a south end one for me. I've been trying to collect all the Mariner hats. Right, how much are these? I do retail. Though. My retail God. Boys. Retail boys. My God. Retail boys. This is actually the one I'm wearing the most. It's like the OG. You got the salmon in the coffee. Yeah, you yeah, should we'll... definitely wait on those. These are trash, but those are fine. Yeah, I might be back on Sunday for these. How much were these going for on uh, StockX? You said like 3000 Wow, the Mecca really blessed us here today. Shop at the Mecca. Pickups. Coming too close. Stop moving, nigga. Freeze it. Hey, say I'm a different type of. I'm a different type of demon. You a charm one. Don't be alarmed when I tell you get them charms up. Nigga, put your arms up. You hey, he got a view. He got a view box. So I'm still relevant. Hate these freaking sneaker YouTubers ruining the culture. This is why I don't go to sneaker <laughs> cons anymore. <laughs> if I get sent for this, hit on one of your desk. You ain't never woke shit up. My favorite sneaker store. I got love for all the other sneaker stores, but shout out to the Sneak City fam. What's up, What's up man? How you living? Tell me, how are you? Good, good. I will never buy this shoe. I just remember when it was on eBay for like two hundred dollars. Is like that's a lot price. of shoes. That's a lot of shoes. Yeah, but that one particular two hundred to literally like two thousand. Not only did like dunks go up, but Stussy also became a lot oh, yeah. more popular as of late. Forces came out. What can we get for Mina in this video? All right, Mina. <laughs> exactly. Size exactly. seven. <laughs> seven. She's it's under budget for this video. Oh, so you're gonna get these two? I like these, but you're not enough of a Kobe fan. Guess what this is themed after? Which superhero? Uh, Batman. Wow, you're smart. You smart. You're a Kobe head. So you're just not a big fan of Kobe then if you don't get these? No, I don't want to get these because I want to hoop. When I get Kobe's, I want to hoop in them. Oh, but this yeah, is an sure. older model. This might fall apart on me. It's so crazy to me that all these Kobe's I was able to get for retail back in the day, and now people like Jacob Star want to resell okay, them. Okay, no, 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 no. Do not put that <laughs> on me. Not. Yeah, I like those. Don't you have it? Uh, the mids. So I can wear Jordan one mid. He wears every Jordan that's not popular. But yeah. to give credit, it's like a plan because then it's like now you can really say I fucked with the Jordan 2s. I did the evidence, right? Yeah, Mina needs to get a pair of those. <laughs> you gotta give Kaisa a heart attack, G. Ooh. Size 9. Yes, sir. And pre-owned, which is my favorite. Thank you. Listen, all sneaker heads. Oh, here we go. Bye. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta get the old school 100 yeah. intro. Ready, set, go. <laughs> 
Let's <laughs> sneakerheads. Let me see this. Buy used shoes if you're gonna wear them because you're, you wear our sneakers. Yeah, and it's gonna be and cheaper. Buy like. used. Thank you, man. I appreciate the advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. The, wow. I just fell in love with these shoes. Wow. Dude, you guys don't even play basketball. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna use these for uh, tennis. What are you talking the about? Red, the green and red. That is nothing like a Habibi. Uh, the green and red. Have you seen the Habibis in person? No, I haven't. Oh, that's why. Oh, you're gonna love the story how I got them. Okay. So look, you're like the. Uh, Master. Shh. I can't put that in there. What I just said cannot go in the video. We're gonna bleep that out. Cut it off. I'm gonna have to stop the video and tell him how I got the hippie beat. She ain't coming back. You the type to see the fucking go the other way. But creep away his brother stay. But where his mother lay? Better know if it go bad, we lay in counters play. Bells got the stove high. Let it so right. Every time you see my bitch, she got her nose out. I've been on my dough, huh? Nigga so hun. I love Imagine. this type of weather. I love sweater oh, weather. Yeah. We out here just linked up with the bro Jess up, baby. At Drip Tea. Hey, really soon I got my own Drip Tea. Justin verified. You got his own drink coming. Stay tuned, baby. Kai's is gonna get his own drink when he gets more clout. But. This is amazing. Yeah, I need to get my followers up to be on Jacob's. Level. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> like right now he's like broke and shit. So you know. Jacob's a hometown hero in Tacoma, for holding it down. Hey, Seattle. Tacoma! <laughs> it's Seattle. Oh, hey. He's like hopping out that low cause he a pole buster. We out here. I'm hella tall. You guys are all short as fuck. People really be thinking I'm short in the videos and the Instagram photos. Now we're here to debate. I did not get this from bait. I got this from the homies over at Gypsy. Yo, what's Hi, good? <laughs> Anyways, I got some pickups. I got some bubble tea. I'll show you guys the pickups later on though. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> He's famous, bro. He's famous. Nah, nah, nah. Don't do me like so that. Actually, I'm regular. This is a good little deal that's going on right now. $100 for both of these. And then I'm doing the Wasted Youth Dunks Special Box. $250 brand new. Speaking about that, did you see the... Um, the off white twos. Oh, damn. I hate these shoes, but I mean, it's cool to see them still. Yeah, yeah. I like the red and white ones more. What do you think of this? I like those. You like these? Yeah. Damn, you like the Jordan twos? Yeah, these are Take sick, bro. That. Can I try it on? <laughs> I love the quilted guts. I get them on a Monday, you can have it on a Wednesday. All right, my boy Shaq got the whole mellow yellow spectrum right here. I feel like Gucci Man would be happy if I saw these. <laughs> I really want to get these lightnings because it's Death Grips tea I got. Oh no. Kind of on the fence about it. It's mostly just that I'm not the biggest fan of fours. Also, I used to hate threes. Threes went from one of my least favorite silhouettes to now probably like my top three. I used to get clowned out when I was in high school. Threes were my number one favorite shoe. I tell people back in the day, like if I could only have one shoe, either be a black cement three or a bread I like day. those threes right there. Well, I'm not getting these because I'm broke and I'm not Kai. Kai's got his pair. I didn't get to do a recap with them, but I had to come right. get the thumbnail. Was, However, of course, while getting the thumbnail, also had to get Get You're two saving new shoes. up to get those, right? Once I get them. I would actually like to get those. <laughs> For real. I need a nine in those and those uh, Amaniers. Oh, yeah. These bad boys. Yeah. These are going to the toes. There's not even a set release date for these yet, huh? Uh, nah. They got the new Drip Tea Market in construction. Not the drinks. The Drip Tea Market clothing, shoes. But yours going to be dope because it's going to be a vending machine. So it looks oh. Like, it looks like it's that low key reminds me of some Japan shit. Yeah, exactly. Is that where you got it from? Hey! <laughs> of course, we had to get a drip tea. She got the lychee or lychee. Like? She should have got one of these ones. It's got the ice cream That's in it. It's fire. Milkshake. You don't go to boba for milkshakes. You don't even get boba. That's just That's delicious. Just you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They call this heaven. <laughs> Look, my bitch 5'4 with a 4'5 I know I'm walking with two bitches, but they both mine We gon' air them niggas out, it's like the You getting your set, really? What's up, man? It's like over there You going to uh, Watermelon Sunday? And if it's money on the floor, then I'm for sure slime Set Kia for the three, he a sharpshooter He a parker nigga low while the car moving Niggas dying bullets So my boy Kais left about a week ago And I didn't finish the video because a couple things One, I didn't have a thumbnail, so I had to go back to Seattle Get the thumbnail, but two, I had to get a Another sneaker in order to kind of discuss the point that I wanted to talk about in this video. So, of course, before I discuss that point, I need to show you guys the sneakers. Now, I showed you guys these sneakers earlier. It's not a crazy shoe, by the way. If this is a sneaker you're interested in, I did notice that sizes were selling out again. They do sell for really close to retail on StockX. The only reason I didn't get them from StockX is I have a high sales tax, and after processing and shipping fees, I'd be paying $40 on top of the actual shoe, which I do not want to pay. It's not really some crazy hype shoe. It's just a shoe that has some personal sentimental value, especially with the T that I got not too long ago. I always mention plus one as a point of view to get sneakers to resell, but it's not always just about reselling. I've said this many times, but I 
I started off as a collector before I ever got into reselling and reselling was just a way to pay for my personal collection. This is a personal piece. You guys have seen me take a lot of W's using Plus One or using other services in Plus One. Really, Supreme almost every week I cook thanks to Cardinal. And as you guys know, all members within Plus One get Cardinal completely free. Cardinal's a premium autofill service. Normally it's $30 to purchase and $5 a month after that. Currently they are working on their iOS. I'm really excited to see what they create with that because if it's anything like their Cardinal software, it's gonna be amazing. Not to mention, I've said this before, but Plus One is $15 to enter. A lot of these cook groups that offer the same services and a lot of them offer even less, charge 30, 40, 50, or even $60 a month. But I genuinely wanted to make something that was affordable. That like, even if you don't put the time in, you can still get a personal or just enter the raffles. And even if you hit on one of those raffles a year, it's gonna pay for the group that entire year. We've had members cook out on graphics cards, graphics cards that sell for $1,000 over retail. And just to give you an idea, that one cookout pays for the group for an entire five and a half years. Like I said earlier, top link in the description down below. But some other sneakers that I got, I got the Fragment Jordan 3. I have been completely honest with you guys. The Jordan 3 is not a shoe that I grew up loving. I got into shoes because of SBs, got into sneakers. There was just so much hype around these. I think the initial hype kind of turned me off from the shoe. When I was growing up, if I could not find the shoe at a thrift store or Ross that was not going to be a shoe that I would have the chance to get growing up. And when I started getting more into riding bikes, all the shoes that I got were skate shoes. So that's why when I got into sneaker collecting, SBs was kind of that easy transition. And you guys heard me say it, when these beautiful Ama Manier Jordan 3s released, it kind of gave me an appreciation for that shoe. I love the story behind this shoe, all the little details like the quilted interior, the natural tones. These are all things I have loved for many years. So once they applied it to the silhouette, it kind of gave me more appreciation for this shoe. And when I showed those off, I did mention that I would like to get the Fragment Jordan 3s. Roshi Fujiwara being a huge influential individual within the streetwear community. You have the Fragment logo right here. This back plastic piece still looks kind of like a thumbnail to me. You also have the Fragment embossed logo right here on the lateral rear quarter panel. And then of course, this writing on the midsole, which has become synonymous with a lot of the Fragment Nike collaborations. Pre-owned at Sneak City. I mean, they're basically DS. Maybe they were worn once or tried on. I got these Jordan 3s from the Mecca. I tried them on again and they're still a little bit big. So Sheck, if you're watching this, I'm gonna either need a size swap or return these. But I did want to show this shoe off. I picked these up towards the end when I went back. I love this colorway, this rust pink with this rust pink elephant print. I like the fact that this panel on the back is actually a suede instead of a plastic. My one complaint would be this fluorescent little panel on the midsole. These things are gorgeous and I would like to get a 10 and a half. This is a woman's shoe. And when it comes to most J's, I am a nine. Obviously I'm used to SB's. So the majority of my shoes are still nine and a half since the majority of my collection consists of SB's. Now we also have a pair of Jordan 4. In fact, my boy Cameron is watching this. Uh, I gotta call myself out. It's never really been a shoe that I appreciate. There have been some other collabs that have kind of made me appreciate the shoe even more, specifically the Union collaborations because I like what they've done to the shoe and the little things like them flipping down the tongue. I don't know, all those little details kind of made me appreciate the design of this shoe a little bit more. I didn't keep my Unions. I did get another pair of Guavas in the last video. I may end up keeping those. I'm not quite sure, but these I do plan on keeping. The Lightning Jordan 4s, these things are absolutely gorgeous. And I got these primarily to rock with a Death Grips tee that I picked up in my last thrift video and possibly a Stussy tee that I also got in my last video. I think one of the reasons why I've come to appreciate the Jordan 4s and Jordan 3s is I would rock them in a similar manner that I would with SB Dunks. But the reason I gotta kinda call myself out still is because at the end of the day, these are still shoes that I would not have worn back in the day. I often feel like people try so hard to be OG collectors of things instead of just being honest and saying. People's style changes. All of you guys watching this video, at some point, your style has probably changed. And I just think that people are so afraid to admit that, especially when they're on this side of the camera because everyone is automatically labeled a culture vulture. I think it's easier for people to understand that their own style changes, but when they see someone maybe once a week or twice a week, it's easier to notice those changes. Like I said, we'll talk about that in a second, but we do have some other pickups. I got this from the homie Contra. Well, the homie Storm brand Contra. <laughs> He sent me this hoodie. It's kind of a cropped fit in the torso, which I appreciate because as you guys know, I am short and vertically challenged. I got a pair of matching sweatpants as well. I posted these on my story. They came in this absolutely gorgeous packaging. It looks like a freaking action figure box. It says deluxe edition. And yes, it was specially made for myself. Inside here, we got some socks and of course, 
a trucker hat. Fun fact, I actually used to sleep on this guy's couch when I would go to Seattle. Now he lives in LA, he styles Bad Bunny, and he's starting his brand. Freaking dope. He had Mia Khalifa and my bro Phoenix. And if you guys have been an OG supporter, you guys have seen Phoenix in the videos as well. But he actually had those two individuals model for this campaign. And uh, yeah, man, I'm super excited to see what he creates. The packaging, a lot of the pieces are dope. And I'm excited to see him finally grow his brand because I know it's something he's wanted to do for quite some time. Speaking of hats, we got two other hats. I got this from Hat Club. Well, I picked this up from the Mecca. It came from Hat Club. Shout out to my boy Shag, hooking me up for retail. I do appreciate you. I think I'm gonna do a South End custom on this. You see how I put the South End embroidery? I wanna do something similar, but I wanna do a puff embroidery and kind of match that pink outline. And then, of course, we got yet another hat from Haven Court Workshop. Look at this beautiful packaging. And I must say, I have to admit, this right here is probably the best fitting hat in my collection. I actually have two other Haven Court fitteds, and they still don't fit as good as this one. This is the New York Haven Court fitted that recently came out. Shout out to my boy Keezy. I do appreciate you as always. I got this little Stussy packet. It consists of this uh, little welcome rug. It's upside down, I apologize. I got this cologne, which is the Laguna Beach scent, and I can actually vouch it literally smells like a beach. I got this little tumbler for the gym. I just needed a new water bottle, so I figured might as well get a Stussy one. And then I got this little planter. You guys know I love plants. If you guys see the story post that I post to my story on my Instagram, if you guys don't change your life, follow me on Instagram, the Starlife, D-H-E-S-D-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of people though, I like plants. I got a lot of plants. People have asked me to make videos about plants, but I don't see that happening at any point in the near future. I will say a friend of mine who also enjoys plants, my boy Paul Cantu, does make videos about plants, Paul Plantu. As I mentioned, some of the shoes that I showed off in this video are not shoes that I would have ever really rocked back in the day. When it comes to fitteds or SB Dunks, as those things became more popular, it was really easy for me to get back into those because those are things that I was genuinely into before. But I was never really into Jordan 4s or Jordan 3s or really Jordans at all. I know I had a pair of Jordans when I was like two years old and my mom used to have them hanging from her mirror when we lived off 45th and Warner. I don't know if she still has those. I think that was the only pair of Jordans I ever owned. We never really had money like that and Jordans were always kind of expensive. I remember I was happy when we got two $20 pairs of Vans just because I had a pair of name brand shoes and we got those from Ross. And I think it's important to be honest about that because I think a lot of people when they get into new things, they are dishonest about the origins of how they got into it or they pretend like they've been loving it for so long. I mean, I understand people trying to call others out for changing style, I guess, but it's like, why does it matter? I mean, all of you guys watching this video have probably changed something about your style at some point. Certain shoes will grow on you. Eventually, there might be certain shoes that you like now that you don't like later on, and that's completely okay. Having Kais come visit was a great experience. He's been gone for a week. I hope him and the crew fam enjoy their stay. One thing about Kais that I've always said is Kais is a genuine dude. He is unapologetically himself. I think he's one of the most relatable YouTubers. He's one of the hardest working YouTubers. He has no problem saying he likes a shoe and then not naming X amount of Wu-Tang members. He has no problem saying, I don't know the answer to that, but saying, I still like it, which I think is important because even though I may give certain facts about shoes and a lot of people enjoy hearing the backstory behind some of these sneakers, I don't know everything. I'm not some sneaker historian. When it comes to Jordan 3s and Jordan 4s, I'm excited to learn more about those shoes and I love learning from people like swag, right? Who came to visit. He knows a lot about those shoes and knows a lot about the historic moments behind those shoes. I like the opportunity to learn, but I don't think you necessarily need to know every single thing about a shoe just to wear it. And I think sometimes we get kind of caught up in that. To be honest, most of the people that I think try to call people out are just people trying to assert some sort of dominance or like OG status. I got a lot of love for Kai. I know that my audience is somewhat split, but at the end of the day, if you do watch these videos, I have had quite a few of my subscribers voice their opinions about Kais. Usually they do it respectfully, which I appreciate. I appreciate those respectful disagreements, but I'm telling you behind the camera, that dude is a genuine kind-hearted guy. Anyways, that being said, Kais, the crew fam, I appreciate you guys for coming down or I guess coming up to the Pacific Northwest. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your stay. I was a little bit busy when they came, which is why it took me so long to get this video out. Hopefully I was a good enough chauffeur, or good enough representer of my state. But yeah, man, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate all you guys for watching. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button, and show some love in the comments if you're not already. All that little interaction does help the video greatly, so thank you guys so much. As always, keep living a star life. Peace. You think I'm gonna fuck with a bucket that's gonna break down on me? Uh, 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 if you ain't no Honda, if you ain't no Honda, <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you is, you gonna break down on me. Ah! Ah!